music that's like baseball is that it's very collaborative when it's great it's team sport for it, sure absolutely yeah and like baseball before tour you, you know obviously there's rehearsals start knocking off some cobwebs when you've spent so much time doing it it's kind of like second nature getting back into the swing of things wild child started with a simple drum loop we find a groove and a tempo that we like. Add a little guitar, add a little bass. Slowly piece it together, one piece at a time. My pleasure to formally introduce. Build a groove up. And then we go, bum, 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 and then. It's very simple, the song, but we put a lot of thought into it. It took us a long time. When you're totally sick of hearing it, that's about when it's ready. <laughs> when you've obsessed over every detail. We know we're happy with it, but it feels really good when a song resonates with our audience. That's ultimately what you want. And that's why there's always a lot of excitement on like a release day. Because like, are people going to dig this? Or are they going to tell us that we suck now? <laughs> Part of the motivation to succeed comes from being from Ohio, rooting for the underdog, the Guardians, perpetual underdog team. We kind of always feel that way too. Our first show's in front of like four people. When we sell out Madison Square Garden, I'm drawing on that. Still to this day, it's totally mind blowing. When you get to the point where you're playing with the big kids, that's the motivation. For me, the parallel for tour and baseball is that I equate you to summer with touring. Welcome to the show. Wild child. Wild scene. Entertain us. Baseball is back. Let's go. We're ready. We've been counting down the days waiting for this. Now we go. Wild child. You're gonna get my love today.